at the way he was telling his opponent, expect to be roughened up. <laughs> uh, let's take a look at the fight card so far tonight. Of course, a very interesting. We saw that fight between Ridwan Scorpion Oyekola and Prince Lion Umoye. And it was a unanimous decision for Oyekola. And it was an upset victory. And so you can also pick out the fight that I just ended. A lighter Fita B. Fita Born beating Kazimi Berua Rio. So uneventful for UD decision. Unanimous decision for Fijabi. And up next will be Akim Dodo Sadiku against Frank Juan Vogbe of Benin Republic. That's an international light middleweight challenge and it promises to be very, very exciting. After that, we've got Otto, Joe Boy Joseph, the main event of the night, up against Ghanaian opposition. And we all know what it is when Nigeria takes on Ghana. It is a crazy, crazy, crazy rivalry. And it's Nathaniel Nukwe. Don't forget, the Ghanaian Nathaniel is a knockout artist. 12 knockouts out of 15 fights and 12 wins, all coming via knockouts. And that's a knockout artist. That, that sounds um, more like an Anthony Joshua there. Joe Boy will be expected to fight. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a fantastic time out here. This is uh, Nathaniel um, Nupe the Ghanaian. And he's not the one fighting next. It's going to come for the main event of the night. But we're expecting the Benenua to come out fighting. Frank Huan Vogbe will be fighting, of course, Sadiku Dodo. That's the next part of the night here. And we're looking forward to it. You can see Joe Boy there uh, getting himself ready as well. We just saw his opponent, Nathaniel Nupe. But this man always has that uh, rosary around his neck. And, of course, uh, uh, we're looking to come up with his, all his swag. We know him to be a swagalicious boxer. So let's see. Well, ladies and gentlemen, news reaching us is that this is the next bout of the night. This is the next fight, not long, no longer the main event. Otto Joseph against Nathaniel Nukbe of Ghana. This is up next. Sorry about that. This is up next from the World of Champions and from Go TV Fight Night 15, African Boxing Union Lightweight Defense. That should have been the main event, but it's been switched now for up next coming up joe boy against nathaniel nupe of ghana and did you and did you see what happened earlier on as well uh we just saw fijabi and uh, joe boy who are from the same stable you know giving themselves uh, uh props and then of course uh fijabi wishing his uh stable mate joe boy the best of luck as well all right uh, just just to whet your appetite what to expect from joe boy let's see what happened in his uh, last fight joe boy Otto Joseph, the African champion, the West African champion, the national champion of Nigeria. Let's see what happened when he fought last. Exactly, that was actually a teaser for what to come between the two boxers. Nathaniel Nukwe of Ghana challenging for the African title against the champion. Talking about Joe Boy Otto Joseph of Nigeria. Expect what happened in his previous fight right away. This is it. Joe Boy clad in white, green, and gold against his opponent. And that's talking about the, the Benenua opening that he fought right here in Ibadan to win the title. That time out, and it was a great time for 
Joe Boy. His opponent didn't even have anything for him much later in the fight. And uh, Joe Boy just kept scoring and the referee was actually forced uh, to come into it. And that's talking about Ayite Meti, uh, who's for, also from Ghana. So let's see whether uh, Nukwe will be able to avenge. Ayite Meto was pummeled. It was a round one knockout on that occasion right here in Ibadan. And it was a Joe Boy doing a great job. Round one knockout, it was March of 2000. And 17, Joe Boy doing a fantastic job on Aite Metal. Today is having his first defense of the title, the African title he won against the Egyptian. Well, let's go into the ring now for Benga Deinka, the first to call out the two boxers for the next part of the night. And a BU title defense for Joe Boy. Ladies and gentlemen, our next fight is our main bout for the night is a 12 round african boxing union lightweight defense title bout in the blue corner from ghana nathaniel Nukwe. Nathaniel Nupe making his way into the ring. He's 30 years of age, 156 centimeters or meters of height, 32 centimeters of reach. And when he tipped the scale, it was 60.6 kg for him. In the red corner. From Nigeria, African Boxing Union lightweight champion, Otto Jobo. Joseph! And there you have it 25 years of age, six years younger. 154 meters in height, reach 33 and 60 kg as well. Very close between these two. And uh, Otto, Joe Boy Joseph comes up against a very formidable opposition in the man from Ghana. Uh, more experienced uh, opponent as well. 15 fights for Nukwe, 12 of them victories, and all those 12 knockouts. Of course, he's got one draw and uh, two losses as well. In the blue corner, is the challenger, weighed in at 61 kilograms. He has had 12 fights, won nine, lost two, drawn one, and eight by knockout. Nathaniel Nupe. In the red corner, he weighed in at 60 kilograms. He has had 11 fights. One 11. Four by knockout. Also, Joe Boy Joseph. Our judges are Shegu Adesoya from Nigeria. Sylvian Adote from Togo, Michael Nikwai from Ghana, Ringside Doctor, Dr. Chike Ilukwe, Ring Inspector Glove Master, Babalola Ladipo, Timekeeper, Prince Ade Olofi, Match Commissioner, Remy Aboderi, and our referee, is May Mensa Akapo.
come this way. Hello, gentlemen, you are the conversant of the rules. I want my instructions to be swiftly obeyed. You must defend yourself at all times. Shake hands. Good luck. Twenty-five years of age, Otto Joseph, the African champion, and of course his title is online here today. Is that weighed at sixty kg, and of course Nathaniel Nukbe, thirty years of age, he was five years a senior to Otto Joseph. His reach is thirty-two, and of course his weight is sixty-one kg. And we're going to go into the first round. First round about to commence as the referee. Get his fight on the way. Otto straight to business here. Doesn't want to give his opponent any inch of space. He knows that his opponent is a knockout specialist. And uh, it'll be it'll be interesting to see uh, the way this fight pans out. Otto is an explosive boxer and uh, Looks like he's not going to give his opponent any chance at all to, to try and go for that uh, knockout. So you sure to expect an explosive fight upon these two boxers. Nathaniel Nukwe, knockout artist against an undefeated the African champion, Otto Joe Boy Joseph. In a way, you want to look at it that it was a good test for Otto Joe Boy Joseph in April when he got uh, a Prince Lion Moye. And uh, I spoke to him just a few days ago, and he was saying that uh, he had issues when he fought uh, Moye, and that was why he wasn't able to come out with his best out. But fans should expect the best of him in this fight. And it does look like he means business this time around uh, from round one already. Anytime he fights um, an international bout, uh, he goes out and he does well. Uh, he's fought uh, Beninua, he's fought Ghanaian, and he's uh, done well. And of course, uh, he also won the title. Against the Egyptian? Against an Egyptian, Ahmed Abdurrahim. Uh, that was in December 2017, uh, right there at the event center in Victoria Island, landmark event center in Victoria Island. He knocked out Abdul Rahim, Abdul Rahim in the fifth of Shadow 12. And uh, the Egyptian just uh, couldn't continue after the fifth round. It was a KO for him, and he won the African title on that occasion. Nukwe coming in with some. Uh, Good jobs of his own after receiving a barrage of punches. You can see the fans very apprehensive. Matania Nupe, who was uh, his last fight, was against uh, Raymond Ansa, and he gained a fifth round and knockout of uh, his opponent. That's a boxer that debuted in uh, 2014 and since then has had a 15 fight. Very good South Port. He the end of the first round here.
second round. The referee calls for a break. The referee, a quick warning to the corner of Nathaniel, asking them, I don't come clean any part of the ring unless I ask you to when the fight is on. Nupe seems to be gradually getting into it now. Asleep, it was not a knockdown. I think he's sized up Otto enough in the first round, and he, he's probably gotten a taste of what Otto can dish out. And he's now looking to use that his uh, right uh, hook. Uh, that might be the knockout weapon there. Lupe is searching for a straight right hand to penetrate. Not achieved uh, that yet. Interestingly, Nukwe has got uh, more of the advantage uh, in terms of reach, height, and you can see him there making good use of that. His uh, left hook came out counter punching that time. And he received punch from Joe Boy. Some pity part punches from Nathaniel Nukwe. Joe Boy has been uh, lunging at his opponent. Both boxes rocking each other there. She really tried to avoid uh, some head clash. Does look like he's got a bump on his head already, just around his forehead. And that could be as a result of a head clash. fight yet to explode uh, because the fans uh, whatever they watch uh, oh, that's a good one uh, from uh, Lupe sending back his opening keeping it keeping it at bay and come close to me Otto trying to launch from Otto trying some body shots there and uh, still no breakthrough for him Nukwe yet to make his height advantage and reach advantage count. I think Otto is also wary of it as well. That's why he's not going all in. Oh, that's a good right from Nukwe. Ending the round on a high. But that's a round that everyone will give to this man, Joe Boy. Going to the third round. Third of the shadow, the 12th round of this African Boxing Union a lightweight title defense for Otto Joseph. Uh, Otto boy almost uh, sleeping as he went. Land out a big right, and uh, interestingly, Otto is not known to be a uh, very a, a big power puncher. He's more of a combination boxer. He likes to stick his combinations in, and uh, that's the reason why he doesn't usually get a lot of knockouts all the time. But he's always able to get the job done, and he can stay the distance as well. It is it will be it will be interesting to see whether Nuke can actually go the distance and get a win because it does look like all his other fights. 
that he has not been able to get the knockout, he hasn't gotten a win. So it's interesting. He's lost two fights and drawn one, and those probably were those ones he wasn't able to go uh, with the knockout. So it's interesting. He's, he's fought all his fights, and they've all been knockouts. Well, this is the second time that he will be fighting out of, out of Ghana. Of course, uh, the first time it was uh, when he fought uh, uh, Pauline Basole. Uh, that was his debut fight, and it was in 2014. And it was a loss for him. Actually, he lost his first two professional fights. That's another sleep uh, on the part of uh, um, the ABU champion, Otto Joseph. Probably as a result of maybe the uh, canvas. Could be it. Boxers are sweating it out, and so uh, sweat is splashing on the canvas and making it slippery. So every other time, uh, you would have uh, needed all parts of the ring to be mopped now because um, uh, most parts are slippery. Look, they're going for a good one there. Uh, eventually, managed to connect one of them with the right hook there. The man that leaves and fights out of a uh, hole in the Volta region of Ghana. Nathaniel Nupe. Boy told me yesterday that his nickname is Nati Bongo. And I told him that you are a reggae man, and he said no. And my fans only call me that, and I don't know why. Oh, but with that kind of dreadlocks on his head, it's easy to think he is actually a reggae man. <laughs> he says, no, my name is Nathaniel, so they shortened it for Nati and uh, Nati Bongo, uh, maybe from the Bob Marley song. Just about the time when both were about to launch into it, the bench, well, the, the bell went for that. Joe Boy's forehead. Uh, what could have been the cause of that? I uh, suspected maybe a possible head clash uh, between uh, the two of them. A clash of heads must have uh, did that because while he was coming into the ring, uh, uh, that was not uh, on his forehead. So, but it's boxing; it's a combat sport. So sometimes uh, you, you can get caught by an unfortunate. Just wondering, just wondering uh, whether it was a punch that did the damage or um, a head clash. But then he's going to fight that way up till the round that this fight will end. Whether he's going to go all the way around, um, all the way hog. But the referee actually giving out some uh, instructions once again. Quite not satisfied with uh, uh, certain aspects of uh, the two box size uh, actions. Otto needs to find a way to go on the inside. Uh, if he's going to get a decisive decision uh, because uh, Nupe is not allowing him at all he's making good use of his reach just to keep him at bay even if he's not punching he's stretching those hands out and it's uh, obviously going to keep any uh, boxer with a shorter reach at bay I did see a penetrating jab from Otto Boy there you have a second one and then beginning to change his style a little bit uh, to get the jabs that penetrating and of course they try to land the cross I, I think he's gonna have he's gonna have to be a bit uh, the champion's gonna have to be a bit tactical uh, let the man be the one to come for you rather than you going for him uh, control the fight that's what he needs to do and so far so good it's not too bad there's been no domination uh, between the two boxers uh, in any way and, uh, three rounds we've seen this is the fourth round 
can be sure that uh, Nupe came with lots of respect uh, for uh, his, the champion, Joe Boy, the pride of Nigeria. Oh, three African title holders at the moment. Good left from Joe Boy. Nupe trying to get even. That's a wide swing. Nupe seems to be looking for that killer punch. And I think he should do a lot more jabbing uh, rather than just going all out straight. You, you can see the way he swings that his right fist. Uh, that, 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 like I said earlier, it's probably the knockout weapon, but he needs to try and work it off. Don't just go out of the blue and look, look for that knockout. I'm sure it's not that kind of um, a boxer that goes for the jabs and all that. Uh, he must be a power puncher. Uh, so you have taken it out of all your opponents and all the wins. And you know what they say, when you fight a champion, you really have to knock him out. But you almost sleep, sleep in there once again. Now that's the problem with the, with the canvas now. Every time he lands, he throws a point that is almost slipping. Which will put some combinations in there. Luke tries to uh, counter punch there. And that's the end of the third. Combinations coming from also there, but still can't get through. the fifth round of the schedule 12 this african boxing union title defense Otto joe boy joseph the african champion taking on natania nukwe of ghana nukwe seems business like this time around using that job just to try and keep uh, joe boy away Flash of gloves there. Two boxers uh, thinking alike, and of course they're uh, going for it. Oh, that's a good jab uh, from uh, Nupe. The left jab. Nupe trying to get a right hook in, uh, but not able to do that. He's doing the right thing, uh, keep, keeping himself away from uh, at the reach of uh, Joe Boy. Joe Boy almost uh, slipping again. That should worry him at this moment. And that would not even allow him to go the distance uh, he would have wanted to go. That's it again. Uh, the, not the right canvas for this fight, for this uh, canvas. Talking about uh, the... The ring. The ring. Nupe himself almost slipping there as well. I think it's more the, the canvas the boxers are wearing rather than the ring itself. Um, little or no grip on their canvases. But how can that be possible for most of the fighters uh, having not the, not the right canvas? Uh, so there must be a problem with the, uh, the canvas of the ring itself. Also getting in there with... Uh, 
but he punches and he connects uh, left and right there. He's trying to open up his opponent, but his opponent is keeping himself well guarded and still looking for that right uh, hook to do the damage. And Naruto is uh, ensuring that he, he stays away. Nathaniel Lupe yet to really show us uh, the, the way he goes about knocking out all his opponents he's in his 12 wins. He, he gets his own jab in as well after he walked into it, left her hook. Otto looking to counter punch, uh, waiting for Lupe uh, to make the move and then uh, gives him a counter on the way out. End of the fifth round. Now, would you say five rounds you've seen as the title defense for Otto Boy? And of course, the challenge of Nupe lived up to the billing so far. Uh, well, to a, to a reasonable extent, but I would have ex I would expect a lot more explosion. Explosion. It looks like both of them have too much respect for each other, and they don't want to go all out. And uh, to a certain extent, you can't you can't fault both of them. Um, Joe Boy doesn't want to do anything irrational and lose his title. He's got a lot more at stake here. While on the side of Lupe, he wants the title as well, and he doesn't just want to give it away. He's seen the way Joe Boy is fighting. He knows if he goes all out, Joe Boy seems to be a very good counter puncher and could get him in trouble. So I think both, both of them are just very, they're being too cautious, but you can see that it's not for want of effort. There's effort, but they're not landing those punches as correctly as they should. We still got seven rounds to go in this uh, shadow the 12 rounds. Uh, we've seen five going by. We're going to the sixth round, halfway mark of the title defense, the ABU. Lightweight title defense for Joe Boy, the African champion, against the Ghanaian challenger, Nathaniel Nupe. Uh, good, good combination coming off the hands of uh, Nupe Nati Boom. <laughs> Nupe did turn professional in 2014. And that was when he fought uh, Basole. And of course, he lost that fight. There's all that loss. And his second professional fight was uh, to Kwai. And of course, I did. Uh, lost that fight to the Ghanaian Kwaye and he did tell me that that was his toughest opponent Kwaye uh, since uh, after that loss to Kwaye he learned his lesson and he has not lost ever since interestingly he is a southpaw but he fights like a, a regular fighter uh, keeping his right hand as the as the, as the lethal weapon but uh, as a southpaw you'd expect it, uh, your left hand to be the lethal weapon, but yeah, he actually he uses it more. Out, started out in professional boxing as a southpaw and then, then switched uh, along the line. That's it. Now, this is a real problem in this fight for the two boxers. Uh, this is a slippery ring. And both boxers are fighting cautiously now, knowing that very, uh, very cautious. they can't put up a, a good footwork because of uh, the slippery nature of the ring. Joe Boyce stalking Lupe, looking for that opening, and I think he got a head to the jaw there. He was just he was a bit lucky. That was not intentional from Lupe, though. Lupe trying to land a, a big right. Uh, didn't quite land. This round, the sixth round, are becoming uh, 
on a vent pool about then. Luque trying to land it. Oh, that's a good body shot from Luque. And end of the round. Two boxers have got respect for each other. So much so. Seventh round now. And lots of uh, mopping up the ring during the break of this end of the at the end of sixth round. So we will see if uh, the two boxers uh, will seize the opportunity to give a little bit more in this round. Oh, some big knocking there from. Uh, Continuous knocking from Lupe the Ghanaian. Yeah, he knew what uh, Joe Boy was about to do. Uh, Joe Boy is looking for an opportunity to get on the inside. Uh, uh, he knows that he has to keep his hands very busy, else Joe Boy would get a lot of composure uh, to, get, to get inside there. So it was a very strategic thing for him to have done. Indeed. Joe Boy protecting himself there because he knew he had come in and uh, he could have gotten a pounding on the back of his head. That probably could have been a, a serious uh, warning uh, for Nupe there. Uh, Nupe is a, is a professional fighter. He needed to go around his opponent because uh, if he didn't do that, he would have been hit. And so he needed to go back, hold his opponent. The referee called for a break. Oh, that's it there. Solid right coming from... Uh, Oto, but he didn't get a chance to follow it up because Anupe is proving to be a very stubborn opponent here. Ghanaian and Nigerian boxers, anytime they meet, it's always a war. That was happened in the sporting world between the um, opponents uh, from the two countries. Right at the end of it all, uh, everybody will tell you that Ghanaians and Nigerians are brothers. Yeah, they're brothers. Uh, Charlie. That's what it takes. But you're looking for the kill there, but he knows that as a knockout specialist, she can't just walk into uh, wherever he is. Talking about Nupi. But I must tell you, Nero, this is not the kind of fight I was expecting from the two boxers. Um, two fantastic boxers. Uh, but this fight has um, been anything but fantastic. Yes, yeah, sometimes, you know, when you have a, an African title on the line, or anytime you have a belt on the line, sometimes a, a champion will probably just say, you know what, a win is a win. I don't need to win it beautifully. I just need to win. All I need to do is to keep my title. Yeah, and that's exactly what Ocho is doing right here. He's trying to keep it safe. Don't do anything crazy. Uh, on other days, you see him go all out, you know, throw all those combinations. But with a, play, with a boxer like Nupe, anything can happen. 
it offers on the lap of the challenger. Yeah, take it to the champion. Uh, try to take, take it to the champion. Try to win the title. Try to knock the uh, champion out. Uh, because when you need to win by uh, by decision, then it's always a tough one to dominate the, the fight. The eighth round of this scheduled 12 rounds of the African boxing lightweight title defense. Referee taking the safety into consideration there asking that the uh, the seat for the corner uh, be clearly taken away from uh, the ring yeah push it until it gets to the stop position uh, because uh, that's a big uh, safety precaution uh, because sometimes you see a boxer take a big point and force out of the ring yeah you don't want a boxer to fall and hit that um, iron metal I see a bit of tiredness creeping into this fight. Uh, both boxers, the agility and speed of their hands getting reduced. And uh, I think Otto is also not being as uh, cautious as he should be. He's lunging. I think he wants to get a decision and he wants to uh, impress his fans. Uh, but in, in a fight like this with a tricky boxer like uh, Nukwe, uh, you might just, uh, like I said earlier, you can win dirty just win and auto in 11 fights 11 wins uh, only four came via knockouts and so he's not that kind of a knockout artist he's a fighter that goes the distance and gets the unanimous decision um, not uh, you can't say it's same for Nathaniel Nukwe uh, who is a knockout artist and all his 12 wins it's all going down by knockout and so he only gone uh, twice the distance of uh, six rounds and eight rounds against his opponent. He's never gone uh, 12 rounds before. And so, like I said, maybe we start seeing what he has got to offer from uh, his ninth round. Yeah, sure. Since he's knocked people out in round eight, let's see if he can go the distance of the remaining four. Oh, that's a good one from him. Counter punching from uh, the Ghanaian and Nupe. And of course, uh, that took the sail rather the wind off the sail of uh, Joe Boy but but he didn't consolidate on it very well I, I would expect him there was no there was no great another slip there again there was no slip from the uh, there was no call for a break from the referee it was a good counter punch and he caught Joe Boy very well he needed to have stepped up and you know close him up well, he didn't do that and um, Joe Boy survived that one First time he has been rocked out uh, anywhere near being rocked in this fight. Uh, just near being rocked, it wasn't rocked, I say. I suspect he will take probably just one sucker punch if there's gonna be any knockdown in this. Not it's not gonna look like a a properly set up punch. It, it looks like it's just gonna be a lucky one that catches any one of them in the face.
The rounds are, are going by and uh, the quicker they go or the or the quickly or the quicker how would I put it? Lupe does something about it, the better for him because uh, it's still it's it's close between both of them, but you would still want to give the edge to Otto in this fight. I mean he needs to do something decisive else. Otto will probably uh, retain his title. Well, if he wants to uh, next the title from uh, Otto, then he needs to do a whole lot more uh, than what he has given so far in the fight. Once again, that uh, sleep again at the center of, of the ring. Right hook there coming from uh, Nupe. A whole lot of action coming from the fist, but no connection. Otto stretching again. I must say, Nupe has used his reach advantage very, very well. Kept Otto at bay. Otto trying to get a combination in, but it was only a try. It's not effective at all. the hall is tells you of this fight expected a whole lot more from the fight but um, uh, much little no, being given no, no. The referee yells out stop to the yeah. two boxers oh. both boxers a bit guilty there uh nupe dipping too low and also as well hanging uh nupe's heads by his hand under 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 his arm nupe with lots of wide swings to trying to go on the inside but Nupe is not given any opportunity at all uh, the more he goes in there the more Nupe backs up and try oh that's it the referee says listen to the bell two boxers didn't quite hear the bell sound to end the round they were still going at each order but all the same that eighth round or ninth round rather ended and we're expecting the 10th round. round of the scheduled 12th uh, 12 rounds of this ABU title defense Otto Joe Boy Joseph the champion and of course the challenger from Ghana Nathaniel Nupe Nathaniel Nupe of course uh, called uh, Nati Bongo well let's stop in I wanted to land that through that uh, right point about uh, just uh, kept it back and turned it into the shelf I love that <laughs> returned it back to the shelf I think Nupe is a bit wary of uh, what uh, 
but just consistently to him. So uh, he, he never allows him to land combinations. First one comes, he's, he's stepping back away from it, which is what a good boxer should do. Oh, the shot of, of course, uh, that one is saying it didn't quite uh, hurt. As uh, Lupe went uh, for combinations uh, to the body, couldn't take it upstairs. Otto with a left hook, which catches on Lupe, but yeah. uh, not very effective. But it will count. If it landed at the follow up, which is a right, it would have been devastating. And they didn't quite a fine target. Otto. Another wide swing from him there. Good job from Lupe, to be honest. He's been using that. He's been even left and right very well. Otto going with a combination, trying to fight on the inside. But uh, the Ghanaian Lupe walks off that one again. But in as much as uh, he's uh, worried of uh, the punches uh, from his opponent, he needs to throw his own and try to land too. Use your reach advantage. Aim well. You know, we talked about something earlier about going the distance. I think this is what is really starting to affect Nukwe now. Uh, the hands are not working as much. Otto seems to be controlling it now. And uh, we know that Otto is a specialist at going the distance. And uh, that's exactly what he's beginning to exhibit here. I think he's. Uh, his corners probably assessed this fight very well, looked at Lupe's uh, maximanship as a, as, a, as a knockout specialist. And uh, they probably must have told him, why don't we push him up to eight rounds? Let's, you, you can now come up explosively and, and see what you can do about it. And surely, Joe Boy doing something about everything in this round. The tenth round, trying to wear down his opponent, trying to take him out, uh, trying to get the punches fighting on the inside as well as the outside everything combining well to give him a good fight in this round 10th round it's Otto Joe Boy's round surely Let's take a look at uh, some of the high points of that round. Otto missing that uh, right hand. Otto with a combination going in and uh, trying to fight on the inside that time. There he goes again. Uh, that uh, left hook. And all uh, the uh, good defense uh, from Nathaniel Nupe. Seconds out, the championship round. Oh. The 11th round, I beg your pardon. And that's the penultimate round to the championship round. Little boy with the straight right. Nupe being a bit more defensive now, he, he doesn't want to leave anything to chance. It's all about hanging in there and uh, hoping that uh, probably a lucky punch can do the job for you. But uh, don't lose too many of the points. And that's uh, exactly what Nupe is trying to do. But I can also see Nupe. That's Nupe. Slip. Another slip again. I can see Nupe looking a bit exhausted. Uh, the, the hand speed and the hand power isn't there anymore, which is expected. This is the 11th round anyway. Yeah, for a boxer that has not uh, gone that uh, distance before. But at the same time, I would say Otto should be, should be wary. This guy is a knockout specialist. Don't chase him too much. He's, he's in control in this fight. All he needs to do is just keep it simple. Don't try to be too... That's the kind of thing that can happen when you try to go in with all aggression. You need to be very careful. a good left hook in there that time. He's got this under control, like I said earlier. All he needs to do is keep up. Keep getting your points, your, your one or two shots in. 
Both boxers swinging very wildly there. Also penetrating there with a left hook. Otto Joe Boy going there on the inside and getting the combination across. The referee asking Nukwe, raise your head up. Otto penetrating Nukwe again. But Nukwe also fighting back as well. Wide left swing from Nukwe. Of the round of the 11th round, ladies and gentlemen, the fight will go all the way. Hog We're gonna go into the 12th and the final round of this fight African Boxing Union lightweight title at stake. Otto Boy, the champion, and uh, Nathaniel Nupe of Ghana, the challenger. Nathaniel with the good right landing very well that time. An auto boy tried uh, to retaliate, but this wasn't a knockdown, it was a slip. Comes out. Ready there. Round 12, the final round. This is the championship round. Are we going to see a war in this round? I suspect uh, Nukwe would want to come and quickly get some points or probably try and score a knockout if he gets the chance. I'm sure his corner must have told him uh, it's not looking very good for, uh, from our, for, from probably from their point of view as well. And we all know that what happens when you fight a champion, especially in his backyard, you have to go all out there and get the result. Well, if um, Otto Boy beats Nupe in this fight, there will be no news. He would have kept his title. He's undefeated after all. Uh, but uh, Nupe has tested defeat twice. And so, we'll have to do more. All he needs to win this fight will be a knockout uh, because Otto Boy far ahead now. And Nukwe needs a knockout. Can he get that in this round? It's not looking like that, the way he's fighting. Otto Boy is still stalking his man. I've been a bit impressed with uh, Nukwe, though. He's come out for it this time around, in this uh, 12th and final round. And uh, it's not been too bad. But I just wish he could have actually been a bit more aggressive like he was in the early rounds and been a bit consistent with it. But uh, we said it earlier. Usually knockout specialists always find it difficult going the distance. And it's just a float in there. It's surely not like a butterfly. <laughs> it's going to take a long time before you get someone like that again. Well, it's just floating, try to avoid some sleep here and there in different portions of the ring. Otto trying to fight on the inside. In this final round, Otto sleeps, but he's standing. The referee says a stop, but he's turning round and round like a widening guy. Would have been dangerous if uh, Nukwe followed up uh, with some heavy punches that time. Uh, because Otto Boy turned his back. And he took uh, was asleep, and then he was trying to regain. And that's what Otto is good at. He's waiting for the counter, uh, uh, for the lunge, and uh, he got it right uh, twice there. Look at the jabs from Otto penetrating. And that's what he needs to do. This is 
championship round. 20 seconds left on the clock. Just keep it. Not a, not a knockdown, just a slip again. Boxers are sliding, slipping here and there. It's end of the fight. End of the fight. The two boxers are with so much respect for each order. But I think Joe Boy just did enough to keep his belt. And the nuclear will have to wait to fight another day. At least that's from our own point of view. I would have to wait for the judges, the three judges. And of course, uh, Bengande Inka will be doing that shot. And that is giving us the official decision of the judges. Uh, when you are a challenger, it's not always good to leave it in the hand of the judges. It would have been nice for you to take it upon yourself, do the job of knocking out your opponent, or even getting a TKO. Uh, but Nathaniel Nukwe has not done that. And disaster might be made of that in terms of the results. Well, well, I wouldn't put it as a disaster. I would just put it as a loss. I think he has... That's uh, kind of a disaster of losing. <laughs> well, yeah, disaster. Not the performance anyway. Yeah. You know, he won't be disgraced or ashamed of the performance he has put out here. In any yeah. way. That is if he goes ahead to lose. Yeah, you're quite right about that. I would have to wait, like we said. So, but uh, from our point of view, from the commentary box here, Otto seems to have taken this one. And so the 12th round of boxing has come and gone. Let's now go into the ring to get the official decision of this ABU title defense of Joe Boy against Nathaniel Nukwe of Ghana. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our decision. George Wan scores it 120-118. George 2 scores it 118 110 George 3 scores it 118 110 winner and still African boxing you know lightweight champion Otto Joe Boy Joseph to present the belt is His Excellency the Governor of Oyo State Senator Abiola Ajimobi represented by His Honorable Commissioner for Sports Yomioke and His Honorable Commissioner for Information and Strategy Honorable Toye Aru, Aru logo. Fija, of course, I did say earlier on, Fija, we also joined in the celebration of the victory of this man, Otto. Joe Boy Joseph, unanimous decision. The decision, of course, I expected that. But then Nathaniel Nukwe needs not to be ashamed at all. He did put up a very good fight, but not just good enough to annex the title from Joe Boy. Joe Boy keeping his unbeaten record on 12 fights and 12 wins.